Oh, hello. Oh, Simon Kids. I completely forgot. We're going to read part of my new book, A Little Fairy Tale. That's me, Chad Otis. I wrote the book. I drew the pictures for it. Um, in fact, right after this, uh, why don't we draw a little fairy? I'm going to draw a little fairy. You can draw a little fairy with me. It'll be fun. What could go wrong, right? Let's do it. So enough talk. Let's get started on the book. Once, not so long ago, in a place with more water than land, there was a little fairy who took people to visit a little island. Every day, people whooped and hooted over Tugboat, who was rough and fearless. They cheered for Speedboat, who thundered by in a blur. and they marveled at Sailboat, who was carefree and graceful. Little Fairy watched the watchers and wished that she was fearless or thundery or graceful. She knew she was patient and quiet and careful and always on time, even when she was sleepy or grumpy or just didn't feel like it. But no one hooted or cheered or marveled at that. Then she had an idea. And for the first time ever, Little Fairy veered off course. And raced as fast and loud as she could after Speedboat. But Speedboat zipped circles around her. Little Fairy, you're too slow and quiet. You weren't made for this. So she tried being carefree and graceful like Sailboat. Little fairy, you're much too careful. You weren't made for this. But little fairy was determined. So she made up her mind to be rough and fearless like Tugboat. Well, she'd be rough and fearless just as soon as this boat passed. Barg! And this one. Boop. And this one. Doot, doot. Little fairy fearlessly huffed a rough huff to catch up. But Tugboat was far off in the distance. Little fairy, you waited too long, Tugboat tooted. You certainly weren't made for this. They're right, thought little fairy, as she sadly turned back around. I just wasn't made for any of those things. She was nearly back at the dock when she heard... It was Tugboat. Oh no, is that smoke? The animals on the island need our help. Okay, let's stop there and draw a little fairy. So I like to draw things with very simple shapes, as simple as I can. And Little Fairy is mostly made out of one big line, and then these little lines and these curves that come down to the water. We'll draw the water later. But Little Fairy is mostly made out of a big square, like that. She's also got a smaller square where the smoke comes out. And we'll just draw some smoke in there now, just so we can see where she's going. She also has a little flag on the back, right? And of course she's got big eyes right where the windows go. These are always the hardest part for me. They'll probably be easy for you. But her eyes do something like that. And then you get to decide where she's looking. And I think I'll make her look kind of front and up. Because maybe she's watching little seagulls. She likes to watch the seagulls. Put a couple of them up there. And Little Fairy has a couple more lines. 
She has a little mouth right here. She has eyebrows. She even has little freckles. And of course, little fairy lives in the water. I just draw a bunch of half circles for that. And a couple more. And that is about how you draw a little fairy. What do you think? How'd we do? There she is. Okay. Thanks for helping me draw a little fairy. I love drawing a little fairy. Hope you had fun doing that. And if you want to pick up a copy of my new book, A Little Fairy Tale, you can do that at your local bookstore or wherever your favorite place online is to, to buy books. Don't forget to sign up for Simon Kids YouTube channel down here. Come back, see more great videos. And thanks for watching. I had fun and we will see you next time.